Well, welcome back into the vegetable garden here in Mid Norfolk and this afternoon we've come down to harvest some of these leeks. They've been growing in this position, their final position, for about um, four months now. They were grown as a um, seed bed crop, uh, quite densely planted and then when they were about pencil thickness I dug them up and we've transplanted them out around six to eight inches apart into their final growing position. These were actually planted as a follow-on crop from potatoes, which was what we had growing here, and if we harvested the new potatoes, we'd come out and started these leaves. They've done really well, and you can start to harvest these from uh, early November right the way through the winter period. They will continue to grow. Some of the smaller ones we're going to leave in. This one, for instance, uh, could be harvested, but just look at this one for comparison, a really nice thick leaf. So let's just pull that up. We've planted them quite deep, which does give you a little bit of a challenge when digging them up as you don't want to break them when you're pulling them but if you can just loosen and get a fork under them just wow, look at that look at that whoa golly i'm going to make some really good soup with these really they are nice and clean fantastic. so what we're going to do just wash these off take How the root off them? well i'd take a knife to these now across the the root plate and just get all this straight into the compost heap and then we'll cut them back to around here. Beauty of planting them deep is that they self blanch themselves so you've got this lovely white basil material which if you can plant them nice and deep uh, gives you that lovely length of really mild leek flesh to, to work with. And we're going to harvest them all now? I'm not going to harvest them all, you only need four so I'm just going to look <laughs> for the four best ones. Oh well, that's a good one. And we're going to leave the rest growing. Okay. So, do you want me to clean that one well, up? Hopefully, we'll still have some left at Christmas. Well, there should go on. Yeah, well, why, why don't you show us how to clean them Let's up? Let's just get this one. Let me take this one off. We'll, we'll, have, we'll one. have some for Christmas dinner this year. But we're just peeling them. They tend to clean themselves They're mainly. They're beautiful, aren't they? They are gorgeous. I've got a knife somewhere. We just uh, wait. I'll go and get that and cut them back. I'll just show you the rest of the crop while he's looking for his knife. Oh, Poppy, you're not eating the leeks, are you? Eat Please don't eat the leeks. I do want to have some for Christmas. Oh, We've okay. got this row. We have actually got another row. And that has come to a planted come down later. With a kitchen knife. Just above the root plate. You just cut right the way through. That yeah. comes off nicely. It still will be cut back a little bit further in the kitchen. And then I'm just going to trim them across the top here. And all the bits can go on the, in the straight in the compost heap, which is next door. So same with this one. one. Okay. Cut that a bit more back. Oh, I'm really looking forward to preparing these. They're absolutely beautiful. Mm, yeah. It's going to make fantastic soup. I made some last week, and it was the best leek and potato soup I've ever made. So that's straight two. Straight out of the ground and be, we'll in soup this afternoon. Off. I'm going to show here. you my soup recipe later. So that'll be coming up later this week. And then literally, we've got lots of compost heaps here, right in the vegetable garden. And we just pop the bits straight in there um, to make compost for next year. You can do something with that one as well. Yeah, that one was sort of split. It wasn't the well, best leek I've ever well, grown, that don't one. Don't want to waste it though. No, I'll still use it. Oh no, Poppy is eating something. I think she's eating sweet corn. Yeah, <laughs> well. <laughs> Rotten sweet corn. Yeah, this one wasn't the best one. Well, it'll still go in the soup because we've got some giant ones here and it said four large leeks and I think I've got two giant leeks and two medium leeks. No, that'll probably be okay, won't it? Yeah. I think we should have another one. We have got two quite small ones. No, I'll just do another one. Should we do one more leek? I'm, I haven't got my gloves on, so you can pop everything in there. So this compost, this is just compost from this year, so it's mainly green material in here at the moment. But over winter, this should... Um, start to compost down next year i might put some grass clippings into it if it's not if it's taking a while because a lot of this is quite woody material um, and the grass clippings will just help to heat it up so we're on our last leak now this is just using an old bread knife that was it dipped from the kitchen actually i don't think that is a bread knife but i think that's a meat no, knife but it's I, I like an old bread knife but mike likes a, a I sharp knife this, i keep this down <laughs> on the vegetable garden Anyway, I hope you found this in interesting. If you've got any questions about growing leeks, harvesting leeks, cooking with leeks, cleaning leeks, how far apart to plant them, anything, pop them in comments, we'll be happy to answer them. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.